Hey guys. Um, you guys wanted to say a little bit more about Magic the Gathering um, Arena. And so, well, here we are. Uh, what I'm planning on doing, and I hopefully I've, I've fixed the audio. I know there was some really bad audio in the last video, and I do apologize about that. So, hopefully, I've got the audio fixed in this video. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to go over a deck I recently built last night. Um, and this is a red-black control deck. Um, it, it, again, it still needs something because I don't have every card unlocked and everything else. And I recently just uh, used one of my um, wild cards to get me a Helm of the Host. Really good card. I'm actually thinking about buying an actual couple of those for a deck design I'm building. And um, pretty much what we've got for you know destruction part is uh, you know we've got unlicensed disintegration. Um, not bad for three. It's an instant destroy target creature if you control an artifact. Uh, unlicensed uh, uh, disintegration deals three damage to target creature on controller. It's all about direct damage. Now, unfortunately, I've only got the one smell. I wish I had more. Um, again, but it's just a deck to, to, to have fun with. Um, of course, we've got Inventor's Apprentice, you know, um, gets plus one, plus one, as long as you control an artifact. And we are running uh, Implement of Combustion. Uh, reason being is simply because um, this will stop most planes, Planeswalker users from using their neg ability if they've only got like one, one point left. That we can just go sack, boom, kill the Planeswalker. Um, Fatal Push for Control, Duress for Control. Um, Champion of the Flame, I do have two of these guys. Um, the reason being is I was hopefully trying to do a Champion of the Flame uh, Helm of the Host combo where the token would be a 4-4 with Trample. Um, and, you know, it, it could just, I could just keep swinging with it kind of thing. Um, Vishio Pyromancer again, um, really good combo to run with Helm of the Host because you can just, you know, make token, does damage, swing, doesn't really matter if it lives or dies. Um, with gen uh, a giant spectacle again to go on our champion of the flame. No one, I know it sounds like we're basing a lot on champion of the flame, but we're actually not. We're actually basing it around uh, Chanra, uh, Torture Defiance. Uh, reason being is because she can just do flat constant two damage. Um, and of course, we've got murders for more control against enemy creatures. Uh, Chandra's Revolution. Um, we're running two of those. Does four damage to target creature. Tap target land. That land doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Um, electrify again for damage. Um, we're running four of uh, Chandra, so it really doesn't matter. Plus the fact that she can also summon up some red mana. So I'm thinking about lowering my mountains and upping my swamps. Um, because I could have won um, one game yesterday, but I was short on one black because of the auto tap feature, um, which I'm not a big fan of. So what I'm thinking about doing today is we're gonna, and of course, there goes the chicken. Uh, we're going to drop it to 14 mountain and 10 swamp, and hopefully we don't get uh, Swamp focused. We do have uh, pre uh, 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 Prometic uh, Prisms to gain us some simple mana of any color that we need, along with the implements of Combustion. Uh, card draw, get to do one damage. Most people don't seem to understand, but one damage can make the difference between winning and losing. So, I know some of you guys also wanted to see some of the deck in action, so here we go. Here it is, we're gonna do free play, which means we're probably gonna come across some high ranking guys, especially at like seven o'clock in the morning. Um, I've only been up for about an hour, hence the bags. Uh, guy's same rank as me, so he's probably still still working on his uh, libraries, still growing, kind of thing. Pun always gets to go first for some bloody reason. I, I, it's very rare that I will get to go first. Uh, what did I tell you? I told you you're gonna get you're gonna get to a land screwed. Uh, I'm gonna keep it and hopefully try and draw into a black. Okay, so he's running green. All right, we're gonna pop that down, and we're gonna throw down a implement of combustion. And 
then uh, he's probably thinking, wait, oh great, so sh straight red burn, so we'll black ring. Oh. We'll play that, and then we're gonna smelt. No damage for you. Uh, then we're gonna end our turn. Okay, so he plays a Painland, Spire of Industry. Okay, other artifact creatures you control get plus one, plus one. We'll let it resolve. Okay. Play her. She comes in as a 2-3. Uh, and we're going to end our turn. Need one more mana to get uh, Chandra on the field. Okay. There we go. I'm not going to attack yet, I need a black. Still got to get a little bit of ball control here. She's running a tricolor? Hmm, interesting. Okay, so he's going to... Hmm. Shock it for the two. I'm going to end my turn. Okay. What's your pick? Constructs, okay. I'm actually getting mana screwed here. Bye. Hmm. Okay, so he's going to exile a creature. And let it resolve. So he's got nothing in his hand. Okay. Let it resolve. Thank you. Can't block because I know what that creature does. Now he can hit me for the six, which is fine. Okay. 
Okay, blue mana now. This is running a five color deck. It could be a nickel bolus deck. Oh, that'd be interesting. Just do your thing, dude. Swing, hit me for the, the six. It's fine by me. And okay, there's some black mana. So he does have an instant. What? My hair is on fire? <laughs> I know. No attacks. I use one to jump block against. Because he's going to send him straight after her. I'm waiting for him to drop Nickel Bolas. He needs two more land to do it. And that's what I know he's got in his hand. So this is the downside, is I haven't gotten a, dur uh, a duress yet, or a mind drop. I have the two black. Look at the top five cards of your library, you may reveal a historic card from among them and put them into your hand. Okay. Treasure Keeper, there was top library. Alright, fair enough. Take the three. So this is just a simple burn deck. Um, and that's pretty much what it does. So again, he's gonna bring it back. That's fine by me. That's all you can do. You can't swing with it and it can't block. So he did that at the beginning of his turn. Okay. Ooh, treasure keeper. Okay. Nope. Sorry. Like I said, it's a pseudo burn deck. Unfortunately, I've got, you know, didn't get the cards that I needed straight away. We were waiting forever to get freaking black swamps. Um, plus, you know, I mean, this is uh, the deck that this enemy's built is a good counter to it. It really is. And uh, unlike other YouTubers, I'm not going to cut down. Uh, go ahead, don't care. It's not like I can do anything. Oh, now you're asking for it. Thank you.
you're starting to see the premise deck, which is you use you use uh, Chandra to speed up your uh, summonings. But unfortunately, I don't have a lot of uh, actual full-on board wipes kind of thing, which kind of sucks. Don't care. But you see the premise of the deck, you're just going to somehow throw in card draw. And I'm just, I don't have the cards. Um, this, this is, ironically, this is the uh, issue with starting, in, in essence, your Magic the Gathering collection from scratch again. Um, as you guys know, I'm a avid collector and gamer and player and whatnot and having to start your TCG from scratch again kind of freaking sucks what did I tell you I'm gonna have to mulligan that and a fucking heartbeat because guess what all red nothing but black or all black nothing but red you never get a true mix because really fuck it um Mostly because um, Wizards have openly turned around and said that uh, they have this um, algorithm that's supposed to manipulate your opening hand. How about you fucking get rid of it? No one wants that kind of shit. No one. When the fact that you are openly manipulating... The fact that you are opening, openly manipulating your your game, your your digital TCG, because you can't manipulate your regular trading card game. I can't see again. Where does it say a uh, 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 creature? It doesn't. So stop with the interrupt, okay? If I can't hurt the guy. Okay, if I physically cannot freaking do anything. Okay. You know, freaking stop. You know, use your intelligence. You're supposed to be having this super intelligent freaking AI system, yet you can't practice against AIs. Oh, yeah. This guy's clearly freaking burned. duress hmm he's got the four to player so player because I know you're going to it's your only move I'll take the three because that's all I can do can piss right off see and I've got no nothing because of your quote unquote intelligent hand design shit yeah this guy's fucking so long full on fucking meta player yeah fuck off you can see like I said intelligent hand design go fuck yourself sorry wizards but you need to get you, there, there has to be the ability to opt out of that shit in the options Seriously, like, go to options, games, 
opt out of your fucking quote unquote intelligent hand design shit. Okay, I'm sorry, but you don't go to fucking tournaments, walk up to a player's deck and go, no, this, this is your starting hand, and then walk away. Okay, I'm sorry, but no. That shit right there will get you throat punched. Okay? You think I'm fucking joking? Touch my goddamn cards. I'm serious. Touch my fucking cards. Watch what happens. See? The intelligent, quote unquote, intelligent hand. See, see? Look at this shit. One goddamn mana. One. One fucking mana. Look. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I doubt I'm going to see a, another black. Go ahead. Do your fight fire with fire. Oh, you can't. It's a sorcery. See, and that's another thing. Why can't I just go declare damage? Goes on him. If he's got nothing to declare, that's it. The damage gets done. Ooh. See? What, what am I, I going to do? I don't have any counters. I can't resolve that. So just let it go through. Okay. See? Just... What? What is with... See? That click, 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 click is right behind my bloody head. I'm constantly having to go click, 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 just to get something done. See, Redburn versus Redburn, and he's got no way to take out more than all my creatures. He's only got a way to take out maybe one, maybe two. And he's more worried about what I have in my hand. Yeah, see, he's a, just a flat-out burn play, you know, go to the face, go to the face, go to the face, try and control the board, go to the face, go to the face, surprise he doesn't have any zero four walls, the, the wall artifact with um, defender and reach, um, stuff like that, but I'm sorry, but the intelligent freaking hand design thing, that's just got to go, I'm sorry, it has got to go, um, also, you know, even if you're doing free play, set it up in your options that this whole timeout thing, you know, can't be longer than five seconds or whatever. You know, you purposely set your timers up, you know, because um, there are play. I mean, this guy, he's got seven mana, okay, gutter snipe, finally, it was about fucking time, okay, now play your instant, instant. okay, guess what, sorry, bro, bye gutter snipe. You ain't gonna do shit, mate. GG, I've won. Do the damage. Win some, lose some. Like I said, guys, 50% win rate with this thing. I'm at bronze three. I doubt I'll ever gonna get put higher than that, simply because the fact I'm having to start from scratch, recollecting my cards and everything else. Yes. Granted, you get like these little nickel and dime things where you can buy a pack. So we'll go to a pack, get pack. Um, of course, you know, um, Hour of Devastation, Amon Ket, um, Ether Revolt, and Keldesh are starting, getting ready to cycle out. Exlan, Rival of Exlan, Nominera, and Core 2019 are going to be staying in, as far as I know. So let's look at, let's grab a Dominera pack. That, sir, is what she said. Um, so let's see. Alright, so we have a, uh, awesome, we have a Uncommons Wild Card, a Commons Wild Card, ooh, Chamber of Torment, two damage to each opponent and you gain two life, create an XX Nightmare creature where X is half of your life total run down, deals X damage to you, awesome, why would I want that? Oh, a Painland, Isolated Chapel, yay. I don't know why it's a rare, shouldn't be, it should be an uncommon, but I'm not the only one that thinks that, so there's Desolator Magic, so there's a few of your other uh, big guys. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then guys, take care.